There's a new video coming. Uh, there's a new video that came out uh, of showing a New York police uh, pig detaining a crying eight-year-old boy. An encounter between a white police officer and an eight-year-old boy in Syracuse, New York, who is black. A bystander filmed the officer holding the child's arms from behind and putting him in the back of a patrol car. Now, police say the little boy was being taken home. He was not arrested after allegedly stealing a bag of potato chips. Fucking piglet, dude. Literal piglet shit. You know what I mean? Jerika Duncan is following the story. What is y'all doing? Hey, you like a baby to me. In this video, viewed tens of thousands of times on social media, the clearly dis Come on, man. We don't want to bomb Russian people, just their military. Dog, that guy literally is saying bomb Russian cities. What the fuck are you talking about? Anyway, we're, we've moved on from that psychotic shit. Strat eight-year-old is seen being held from behind by an officer detained for allegedly stealing a bag of chips. So what's going on then? You're stealing stuff. If he breaks into your house to steal something. Nah, you man, what are you selling, a bag of chips? So y'all treat me like a whole cold-blooded killer? Keep, keep, keep walking, dude. Moments later, the child can be heard crying. Bro, they're like, they literally are like pissed off. Oh, bro, you're fucking up the fun right now, brother. We're just trying to, you know, we're just trying to have a little fun right now, you know? Detaining an eight-year-old baby. Crying as the officer puts him in the back of his patrol car. Bystander Kenneth Jackson says he felt compelled to start recording. I felt his terror and decided to interview. What is y'all doing? There's a way that the police need to interact with kids, and what they did is completely unacceptable. The boy's father says the officers brought his son home. Then I saw the video. Then I was really mad now. An officer who wear the uniform, who supposed to protect life and property, look at how he maltreated my son. I'm sorry, they would, this would not happen with a white kid, straight up. Like, no shot, dude. Or if it did, the entire country would be in a fucking uproar. Like, that's crazy. That's a crazy fucking situation. Oh my God, a white, like, a uh, girl, especially, like a white eight-year-old girl. Oh my Lord, dude. And, uh, you know, not saying that, like, uh, it would be good if it happened to a white eight-year-old girl. Obviously, it's still fucking pigs behaving in a pig-like way. But God damn, dude. The fact that they think that they could do this. The fact that they can think the fact that they think they can get away with this shit is is wild, dude. The Syracuse Police Department issued a statement saying in part, the juvenile was not placed in handcuffs. Officers met with the child's father and no charges were filed. Oh sick, dude. Yo, these guys are so understanding. Boys, no charges were filed. Uh for the bag of potato chips that he stole, apparently, allegedly. God damn, dude. They should have just He's like, uh, <laughs> the juvenile delinquent. Dude, they're, they're, they're literally like, hey, listen, we didn't press charges. Okay, shut the fuck up. Like, uh, he's lucky that we didn't kill him. He's lucky that we didn't kill this eight-year-old man. <laughs> Filed. We need to see the whole incident. Look at the, you know, find out what the body-worn cameras show. Keith Taylor is a college professor and former officer. police officer. He says when all the facts are known, the department should be able to determine whether the officer should... Listen, this little, this eight-year-old man, this eight-year-old adult man was resisting arrest. You can see it right here. Handled the situation differently. Could there be improvements? Well, if the policy says that that's what they're supposed to do, then you look at the policy. Bro, if you see an eight-year-old stealing a fucking bag of potato chips and you call the cops on them, you are a pathetic fucking loser. Give them the potato chip, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Oh, my Lord. Wait, I mean, that's like insane. That's psychotic, dude. Really? Like, you, you're gonna, over a dollar, 99 cents, 99 cents bag of potato chips you're gonna fucking traumatize a kid give him ptsd the mayor of syracuse says the officer knew the child from prior interactions police say they are reviewing the body camera videos from all three officers involved in this incident i think it's uh triggering when you look at the numbers in terms of how black and brown children have been criminalized and you see an eight-year-old and you ask yourself is there any other way the we way could have handled it, this yeah. so that he didn't have to be in a police car? Well, it seems like such so. a teachable moment yeah. that if you had called the parents to the scene, that Perhaps there could have been could a have different, different interaction. Yeah. And maybe they attempted that. I mean, I think oh, that's not even what happened. The guy filming said it was a hypothetical. 
do a thorough review. And before the footage, this kid punched 20 officers. He's eight years old, brother. I don't even believe that you, I don't even believe that. But like, if that's the case, like, are you fucking insane? I hope he fucking punched 20 officers. And if there's a better way to do it, better way to handle it, that should be the new practice. But once again, it's the cell phone. He knocked out 15 officers, dude. Cold. Dead cocked. Just whooping their asses, dude. It's fucking... It's, uh... <laughs> he's been training in a dojo. Like, karate kid. <laughs> He was, he was fucking, he was karate chopping officers. That mm -hmm. sort of shines light on how these things happen or bring about questions about possible policies that might. Yeah, be it, it, it's hard when you hear the anguish of the child who's clearly yeah. very shaken up and probably maybe a little traumatized by it. You do have to wonder, is there a better way? Because I think, every, well, not everybody, but many kids have stolen stuff from stores. Yeah. You know, I remember I was stealing a hostess cherry pie. Yeah. <laughs> When I was little, little yeah. and came home and said, no, I hadn't done anything. You have cherry pie all over your face. <laughs> and I had to go back and... Right, you know, right. And Gail, look, go I back and apologize. Yes. <laughs> but my parents dealt with me. Yes, yes. exactly. And I returned like, the there had to be yes. a better and way to handle it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Wonder... Let's see. There's a body camera footage of this now. Altercation. Oh, yeah, because I'm not going to find him there. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my God, that's how little they give a fuck about the crime, dude. He grabbed the bag of chips and dumped it in front of his face. Oh, fuck you, dude. Oh, what a fucking piece of shit, garbage animal you are. Oh my God. Oh, dude, they're, they're teaching a valuable lesson to two cars. Two, two cars, not one. Two cars were necessary here. We need to fund the police further. That's right. We should have given them javelin missiles so they could have fucking shot this kid with a javelin from afar, okay? With a heat-seeking missile, they should have fucking lasered him for the, the crime of stealing Doritos if he actually did. We don't even know. Holy fuck! Today we're here to discuss a larceny call that the Syracuse Police Department was uh, called to involving... A larceny call! A larceny call! Larceny! For a bag of fucking Doritos! Larceny! Juveniles on the city's north side. Where are you going? Bro, this literally, this feels like a joke. Like, this, the, the way that they are explaining this story in the tactic the tactical police language like our officers on scene that placed their lives in harm's way every single day gave an ocular pat down to this eight-year-old black male adult um and uh we had to do everything we could to ensure that our brave heroes in the blue were uh you know were stopping this criminal this juvenile delinquent criminal from engaging in an act of larceny. Didn't we just go through this? Didn't we just go through this? You were crying in the backseat of my car? Remember that? Get off your bike. Get off your bike. Hey, 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 hey. Ellen, Ellen, are you so Get off your bike. Bro, this eight-year-old kid has been in the back seat of a fucking cop car already? This is, like, not his first time? What the fuck is going on, dude? He's like, this is not even his first rodeo? How many times? Is, what, what was he, when he's six? Bro, like, they're, like, they're treating him like a fucking hardened criminal, dude. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Your whiteness is showing? I mean, dude, I didn't grow up in America, so I don't even fucking comprehend it, okay? I've had horrible altercations with cops and shit, but, uh, and, you know, I've been doing this coverage for the past 10 years, but even then, I'm like, eh, American police still shock me sometimes, okay? They're making it seem like he's got a fucking rap sheet over here, dude. Holy fuck. Uh, Hassan, it was one of the bigger bags of chips, definitely more than 99 cents. Should have thrown the book at him.
This video uh, stops and we'll transition over to Officer Bohuniak's body worn camera. The, the next clip starts where Officer Bohuniak is placing the juvenile in the rear of the, of the police vehicle so he can be taken home. In this video and in the next video, you'll see that the juvenile was not placed into handcuffs. Oh, dude, they're doing so well. Wow. Never mind. Dude, they're literally showing this footage of a traumatized eight year old kid crying in the back seat of a fucking cop car and they're literally celebrating it because they didn't put handcuffs on them bro do you even have a handcuff do, do handcuffs go that size i don't even think you can handcuff him if you wanted to he's too small look how good we are boys we didn't even tase him we didn't even tase him we didn't bust out the fucking infant restraints. Wait, what? What did he say? What is that? Did he throw the bag of Doritos in there? What is that? What's he throwing in there? No, that's not the bag of Doritos. The the the, <clears throat> the the original bag of Doritos that they threw out was uh was red. <clears throat> this looks like Cool Ranch, maybe. I don't know. Don't give them ideas. It'll be a part of their next budget increase request. Yeah, when I watch this dude, I'm thinking to myself like, we need to fund the police further. I, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, bro, when I found out that there were two bags of Doritos, family size, um, yeah, he deserves it. This eight-year-old baby deserves it now. You know, two bags? That's bridge too far for me, brothers, okay? That's larceny, you know? The $5 going to skip the altercation Doritos after tax? Holy fuck, his mom was shot by police before? Are you fucking serious? The mother of the eight-year-old Syracuse boy in viral video was once shot by the police? The child's mother is Taisha Fletcher. On February 17, 2019, police responded to a domestic call involving a weapon. During the incident, officer officials said Officer Andrew Murphy fired his gun, hitting Fletcher. Police said Fletcher had been armed with multiple knives when she was shot and wounded at an apartment in Frisbee Court. The officers were ultimately cleared of any wrongdoing. Fletcher was charged with, a men with menacing, a police menacing a police officer, criminal possession of a weapon of the fourth degree, criminal mischief in the third degree. As the case against her moved through the justice system, police and prosecutors bent over backwards on her behalf because they were aware the incident was brought on by mental illness and addiction. Family members... Family members say the eight-year-old's father, Anthony Wea, is now married to a different woman and the couple and the children reside in Syracuse Northside. Taisha has lived with the Wea family on and off over the years. Family members say Fletcher's sister, Kimmy Fletcher, says they were both taken from their mother and placed in foster care when Taisha was six and adopted into an abusive family. After she was shot by the police in 2019, Kimmy Fletcher says her sister's life was never the same. That's a life-changing event. Her entire life has been traumatic and for some strange reason, it always winds up being her fault, she said. At least that is the perception, she added. Bro, this is, we are literally a fucking third world country with a Gucci belt, okay? Straight up. I mean, this is insane. This is a citizen living in the United States of America in New York State, and the mother has been shot by cops. She has uh, uh, problems with addiction and mental illness, and instead of healing uh, this person, instead of having a, a, you know, a robust healthcare infrastructure that helps this person get better, we shoot them. We shoot them in the fucking, uh, we shoot them. And then we throw the book at them. 
This is a perfect case of experiencing America, okay? Why? Because that's where, we, that's where our funding goes. Our funding doesn't go towards healthcare. Our funding goes towards the cops. Holy fuck, dude. Child taught a lesson, move on. Dude, fucking, you are such a garbage human. And I really hope that, you know, this happens to you and seven generations following, okay? We already banned him. I hope you learn your lesson too one day, okay? One day. Yeah, child was taught a lesson. What's the lesson? Cops are fucking animals. There you go. That's the lesson, right? Uh, you're right. We should fund some child-friendly cuffs and tasers. Maybe even some toys to play with in the back of a car or a tablet to watch Paw Patrol on while cuffed with nice child cuffs. Yeah. Our officers have to approach the suspect carefully because he fit the description of another suspect that has been terrorizing our street with theft. No, stop. They did not say that. Dude, how the fuck do you watch a situation where an eight-year-old is fucking crying in the back of a cop car being manhandled by these fucking piglets and you go oh that's an important lesson a valuable lesson was learned on this day like how how do you get to that level of caucasity where you just like straight up or just like oh black child don't give a fuck not human in my eyes you know what i mean it, it's insane that only happened because the u.s does not have special cops for kids fund them more yeah exactly we need more we need more training to make sure that cops uh, have like jujitsu techniques to beat the shit out of uh, uh, children better. Can you imagine treating this child like a human being instead of this? And just being like, hey, buddy. You know what happened here? We we heard that, you know, you got we heard that you have a bag of chips here. What's going on? You know, you, you didn't have enough money to pay for it. It's all good, you know, we'll pay for it. We have enough funding, right? Just have a conversation. Is that okay? Is that is that a thing that we could do? I mean, it sounds so just outside of what is normal right like when i say that you're like imagine a cop doing that you're like what the fuck but that's what it's supposed to be that's what they're supposed to do isn't that what they did in like the fucking movies in the 60s where you know obviously to the white kids uh, and not uh, black kids because they definitely were doing exactly this in the 60s the black kids still but you know what i mean like isn't that what beat cops were supposed to do like you know be a, a member of the neighborhood Isn't that when, like, America was great or whatever the fuck? Cops only do that when there's a reporter present for feel good? No, they don't. They beat the shit out of reporters. What are you talking about, dude? Did you not see all the fucking reporters they beat the fuck out of? What are you talking about? Would you say that maybe we should fund the police more to make these situations better? No police seems too idealistic. I never said no police, but no police like this. Okay. If this is what policing is, then no, no to this, whatever the fuck this is. Yeah. We should fund them further as you know, cause noticeably, uh, policing has gotten a lot better as we, as the budgets have inflated. Oh wait, no, it hasn't. The opposite has happened. Shut the fuck up. Watch the next week, local news or even MSNBC, there will be 100% a feel good story, a feel good cop story. Cop adopts a puppy, cop saves drowning kid. Watch out for it. You'll never unsee the shit goes down. Oh, yeah, they always do that. Stop. 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 Stop.
He literally is like, I gotta deal with this one. Like, look at him. He just, he's just like, like, chill. Look. What? Yeah. Dude, oh my god. They are so aware of this other dude who's filming them. on the inside of the of the vehicle so you'll hear some interaction between the officer and the and the juvenile nope you're going home we'll stop stealing it was two bags two bags not one two that's awesome That's crazy. I mean, straight up, like, they're saying at least we didn't kill him. At least we didn't fucking handcuff him. At least we didn't tase him. We just tossed him in the back of a cop car and, like, pump, dumped the Doritos in front of his fucking face to show how little they care about the two bags of chips, by the way. You know what I mean? Like, they destroyed the supposed crime that occurred in that circumstance. Like, they literally fucking dumped it in front of his face before they grabbed him and tossed him in the back of a fucking cop car, dude. Holy fuck. There's no doubt that there is trauma there. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Thank you, Syracuse police. That experience will influence how that, how that child views law enforcement. This is a snapshot of what is happening all over the city. And all over this country, our kids are struggling. And we're all doing our best to try to help. But we need to do more. I've been here and dropped him off with your wife before. And yeah. it doesn't seem like she really cares. Yeah. No, so. she's, she's sick. She's, yeah, she's sick. The officers that responded to this 911 complaint of a larceny in progress located the child who was stealing, didn't handcuff him, didn't arrest him, didn't take him to jail. We don't do that. What they did do is call him by name and take him home to his father, then stand in the street and have a long discussion. This is a fucking awesome example of when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Okay? They are showing this as a good example of dealing with a child. Okay? They're literally showing this as an example that is good. They're like, this is positive actually for us. We're going to use this as an opportunity to be like, look, we didn't do anything wrong here. We actually didn't handcuff him. We didn't arrest him. We only simply detained him, okay? And we taught, we refer to him by name. So understand that when they try hard to be good, this is what you get. If this doesn't prove to you that the system is fundamentally fucking broken and that something needs to change, I don't know what will, okay? They're literally fucking... Like, they're, they're saying this is our best. This is the best we got. That's the best they got. This week on MSNBC, we speak to a courageous officer who didn't beat a black child to death. He's quoted as saying he could have, but he was lucky he didn't have a bitch on his, he didn't have a bitch on his back telling him about the top of the hour ad break. Okay, dude. Huh. Gushing with him. Folks, this is community policing 101. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. Stop. Stop. Oh, my God. He literally said this is community policing 101, folks. This is where, dude, normal humans will look at this interaction and go, are you fucking insane? Are you fucking insane? He's literally flexing, dude. Stealing. We got to run it again. Him, didn't arrest him. Didn't take him to jail. We don't do that. What they did do is call him by name and take him home to his father, then stand in the street and have a long discussion with him. Community policing is when you don't immediately murder a black person or a black child. That's it. Like, if you simply beat them up a little bit, humiliate them, berate them, you know, the manhandle the eight-year-old, that's community policing. That's awesome. That's fucking tight. That's sick. No, they're right. This is the best they can do. And if this is the best they can do, that means something is fundamentally fucking broken, okay? 
That's all I'm saying. Something is fundamentally broken with policing, especially in black communities. Holy fuck. Folks, this is community policing 101. Can I stop and say hi? Yeah, debate lords in the debate pervers in the chat are about to be like, ah, uh -huh, would you feel this way if it was three bags of chips? Would you feel this way if he actually stole the entire warehouse of Doritos? That's right. Ha <laughs> ha, I just destroyed you. Yeah. This is why you can't ever have fucking conversations with debate perverts, okay? They'll literally be like, ah, uh, actually, would you feel this way if they stole uh, enriched uranium? Hmm? Yeah, didn't think so. I and have, and have a conversation next time, and we'll be friends. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be chasing you down for stealing stupid things, right? This was a painful situation for everybody involved. <laughs> this is a painful situation for everybody involved. Yeah, dude. This is, this is a, a big dub for you guys, okay? I know we can do better, and I believe we will do better. How many Doritos is the tipping point? Five? Ten? Ten thousand? Tell me the exact number of Doritos where it becomes grand larceny. Yeah, it was painful for the cops involved because they couldn't kill him, okay? That's why it was painful. And now everyone's, yeah, this, listen, beating the shit out of you, <laughs> manhandling you and tossing you into the back of my cop car was more painful for me than it was for you. Let me tell you something. Because I wanted to do way worse, and I was held back because someone was filming the process. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>